What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Duran Duran. And we're going back to the 1997 concert at Pleasure Island in Florida on tour for Medazzaland. And we're going to listen to a song from Medazzaland, one of my favorites. I really enjoy this tune. I mean, I enjoy the whole album. People who uh, were there when I reacted to uh, the album originally for the first time will know it just hit me hard. So many of the songs had this great combination of compelling sonics with a bit of a wicked bent, a bit of a distorted vibe, um, and indeed all those videos are still available, so if you haven't seen them, uh, you can go back and check. Um, but yeah, we're going to listen to Who Do You Think You Are, a really cool tune. Um, it starts sweet and tender, Simon's voice sounds gorgeous, the sonics are beautiful, Warren's guitar playing is fantastic. It grows in power and passion over the course of the song. Uh, I do enjoy the way it's about this argument or at least a back and forth between people and as you get to the end it's almost like you know all the things he's saying about the other person and all the comments in that direction might very well be about oneself it might be on some level about projection i remember ron making that very comment when i reacted to the original I remember izzy talking about the argument at play so um yeah just a really cool tune a number a one that i've listened to many times since, uh, basically the whole album, I should say. Uh, but yeah, let's hear what it sounds like. Live performance at Pleasure Island in Florida. This is Duran Duran performing Who Do You Think You Are from Medazzaland, 1997. And admittedly, given that it's a tour for this album, I expect it to be nearly identical to the uh, studio recording, perhaps with some live flourishes, but certainly not in a different style from the studio track. <laughs> Ability. 
the thought that you might really want to be me. Seriously, that's just a fantastic tune, um, and it's great to hear uh, some of these tunes live, um, which, you know, again, some tunes like Hungry Like the Wolf I've heard live in a number of different performances over a long time period now, um, but some of these other tunes that I've come to enjoy a lot in their catalog I've not heard nearly um, as much live. Um, so yeah, that was really cool to hear that one live. Like I said, I think it's a really special tune. I like the way it grows, I like the evolution of the themes and the lyrics. Um, it's just the guitar playing is fantastic. Simon's voice sounded fantastic here. Um, yeah, just a really cool song. So again, I know this album for some people, it's, you know, it's, um, it represents a transitional period. Obviously, you know, John leaving like at the be um, beginning of the recording session. So I get it. Like it may have a weird place in their overall history and it's not going to be celebrated as much as an album like Rio or the self-titled album even. Um, but at the same time, um, I do think it's a really special album, and I keep, um, now that it's back on my radar again, I do want to go back to the vinyl copy that I have and, you know, listen to one or two more tunes, the vinyl version. Not that they'll be, you know, different from the track I already reacted to, but, um, it's just nice to have, um, a, a special edition release like that with all the extra bonus stuff and be nice to flip through the booklet again. So, in any case, I'll do that at some point. I do want to go through the rest of this concert first, though, so... Um, I didn't happen to see in the uh, track list what song is next, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. They're sounding good at this concert, absolutely. Once again, big shout out to Adam for bringing this to my attention. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.